Come on. Lisa, did you ever have sex with any of these black guys? No. In the black radio? But when you are in that community, you do listen back and forth to what's going on. You never had sex with the black guys? No. Not? not even to sort of just immerse yourself into the culture? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. But I, I knew Mr. C not well, but... Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know he was Well, he wasn't going to... No. Have sex with you. Right. <laughs> no. All right, now you can leave. I see um, you know nothing. Bye. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Lisa. Don't forget your news jacket next time. All right. Which side are you on, Lisa? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> she left. I wonder, is she on Power 105 side or? She worked for both. Whose side are you on in this war? Honestly. Well, thank you for getting your news jacket. Thank you. I forgot who you were. Yes, she is in yeah. here as a, a news person. <laughs> Whose side are you on? I mean, you work for both stations. Who do you side with, Hot 97 or Power 105? Right now? Yeah. In this war? Yes. yes. Power 105. Really? Why? Because uh, Mr. C, I, I, he was leading a, a double life. He wasn't true to himself. He got caught. But you understand in the black community, there's even more pressure than in the white community to keep that shit hidden. Right. George knows about that. Mm. I understand. Right? Black guys get it tough when they were gay, right? right? Yeah, it's tough. But Funkmaster Flex sounds angry, and Power 105, they're having more yeah. fun with this. I see. So you're on, you're on Power 105 side in this? In this one, yeah. Yeah, you want to see them take down Mr. C? No, not necessarily, but I... <laughs> I like that Lisa has a side. I can't even believe it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wish I had a side. I know. Yeah. I don't know who to pick. But it's absolutely right. They used to tell us about the songs you were saying. You know, right. this. You know, they're playing. You know, Little Kim. Let's play this. You know, right. You know. Gary, what do you want to say? He walked out too. Everyone gets impatient. And walks out. I'll get to you. Just, I'm on to something, but just hold on. No, no. I think you. What did I, you want to say? No, I was saying when th there was a book out when when uh, about the Cleveland wire cutting. Oh, and they were talking about they had all these meetings exactly like the like real war meetings. Right. And one of they, they they talked about the ideas that they didn't implement. Right. And my favorite one was that they wanted to hire a helicopter to drop water on us while we were while we were doing our broadcast. <laughs> like that, that might have caused they the death. They were going to make it rain. No? They, 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 but they talked. And I wish I could remember some of the ideas. Idiots. They, you know, I used to say, never mind the war room. Go on and do good radio. They're going to do everything off the air. But they were in the book. It says that the program director got everyone together. That's like we can't let Stern come to our. You know, turf and and you know, get away unscathed. Right. And they came up with all these wacky ideas. So they were not thinking of a physical attack as what's opposed they, to programming. And, and what's so great is right. everything they did made me bigger. Yeah, you know, right? I mean, they could have. You know what they could have done? They could have like hired the biggest artist in the world, paid him a hundred grand, and done a free concert or something. Right. To counter program. What they could have done was ignore me. Right. You know, that's the worst thing. But that been. was the other thing. They had all these war room meetings. At least these guys are acknowledging each other on the air. Yeah. In those war room meetings, the the main thing they said was never mention the other station. Right. Well, Funkmaster Flex isn't done yet. Hold on. <laughs> what I'm talking about over there. You want to go, you make sure you're ready to go. You make sure you're ready to move. That's one thing. Right. St strategy. This radio thing, I'm built for it. Unfortunately, you're not. Now, this guy talking is Lisa's enemy because she's, <laughs> she's on the side. She's chosen sides. She's chosen sides in this. She's on Power 105 side. <laughs> uh, thank God to be Make sure you think if you want to go. Right, he's all fired up. So now the Power 105... Do you really think he has any ammo? Well, Power 105 is not intimidated by that. In okay. fact, they took the angle that he's like a professional wrestler. And, and he has nothing. Yeah, he's full of shit. Yeah. It's Power 105, a bunch of young upstarts. They're the ones Flex. with the real dossier. Yeah, they got a dossier. <laughs> Listen, Flex, WrestleMania was Saturday, B. Who are you supposed to be, Flex Hogan? You sound like an old-ass wrestler. What you gonna do when Funkmaster Flex runs wild on you? You're the big bad wolf in the city, huh? You like to huff and puff and blow houses down. Let's be clear. You can huff, you can puff, but the only thing getting blowed down is Mr. C by transsexual. Oh, oh, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Why are you mad at us? Because your man, Mr. C, likes getting it in with transsexuals. I'm confused here. Like, he got arrested for being with a transsexual last week. He got busted in October and November for loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Don't get mad at us. You're mad at him. Tell him, homie, I don't care if you like men, but move better. Don't mess with prostitutes. Get you a boyfriend. 
You out here making yourself and the brand look crazy. It's okay if he's gay, but give him some brotherly advice and tell him to move a little better with it. He's too old to still be getting topped off in cars and cruising the block for prostitutes. Same way you too old flex to be throwing subliminals. Subliminals are so 90s. But I understand because you're a 1990s type of guy. That's your era. But it's 2011. Subliminals are for old guys. Us young guys speak directly the same way you speak directly to Amber Rose, mm. Christina Milian. Damn. Sean What's that all What's about? That all about? Yeah. Oh, I think they're accusing him of uh, partying with these chicks, I guess. Uh, well, that's what I would assume, but yeah. I don't know. Any, is he married? What are they saying about Yo, him? Yo, Neil, and any other female, get at us young men directly the same way you get at them females directly. Tell them they hold up. You know how mad he was last night. You know how mostly he gets. Yeah. Somebody, if you know his wife, he call his wife, he call oh. her, make sure she's good. Remember what happened last time? Remember what happened with Steph Lover? Remember what oh. happened with all his other females? Look, man, we ready for war. You know, I, I don't need no records played. I'm not an artist. You and me don't ever have to associate and do business together. I want the war. I want to show the world exactly what I'm going to do when Flex Hogan runs wild on you. <laughs> There's the bomb. They got their own bomb side. Why you keep calling Flex Hogan? Because he's an old-ass wrestler. Oh, man. Mickey Rock-ass nigga. I told him, keep it cute. And we can play however you want to play. These pictures we got were absolutely... Mickey Rock ass nigga? Yeah. <laughs> What's that From mean? the wrestler. Oh, I see. Mickey <laughs> Rock ass nigga. Come on, keep up. <laughs> they use the N-word over there? Uh, apparently oh, so. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. Pick up a happy home. Keep it cute. We can leave it where it's at. Oh, we Sounds like they have the same bomb sound effect as uh, Funk Everybody's Master using the same bomb sound they effect. They must sell that sound effect to uh, Black Radio. We have it here, too. We have that one? Julie has it, yeah. Excellent. And trust me, you don't want to go where these pictures can take it. So they got pictures. They right. really got pictures of Mr. Uh, well, anyway, Master Flex or whatever his name is. Now you know what's going on in Black Radio. Because how the hell else would you know? There's this code of protection against Funk Master Flex. Ashton Taylor, I think is his last name. And he's very protected. Wait, let me, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by that? Meaning, wait, like, you can't play. really talk about that he possibly had a child out of wedlock three weeks before he got married. Things like that. It's just... Right. Because he's respected. Yes. And so they're guys, now disrespecting him. Oh, my. Ooh. Ooh. It's rough up in here. That's a real war. <laughs> That's I mean, good he's stuff. The, he's the first guy to fire up against Funkmaster Flex. Oh, They're my. stepping over the line. Mm. So what is Funkmaster Flex going to do now? we got to keep up with this. I'll keep you up. I'll keep you up on it. <laughs> I want to hear the next salvo. You ain't going to tune in for 900 hours waiting to hear the next salvo. No. I'll get you the. I'll get you the good stuff. <laughs> uh, we have to keep tabs on what they're up to We're in Black like Radio. We're like the talk soup of Black Radio. That's right. Big war going. It's so great to get them all in here. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to offer my services as an uh, elder statesman of is radio. Is Mr. C saying nothing? What is going on? You know, these guys know I've been in a few radio wars myself, and I've come out, you know, pretty good. I'm like the United States of America. Might have had a, you know, a shitty one here and there, but for the most part, I'm on top. You never had a Vietnam. No Vietnam. <laughs> so uh, I got a pretty good track record. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think that these uh, young African-American gentlemen should come in here. Let's see if I can't uh, make some sense of this. And Angela Yee, she used to work here. Now she's over there. She was on. She was yeah. on your show. I would like ago. to. I would like to have these uh, characters on my show. <laughs> we'll get the bomb sound effect. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but nobody's heard from Mr. C. I, I'm going to get Mr. C. Do you want me to email Angela? Yeah, her? get in touch. You, since you have the back door into the black community, <laughs> since you're the back blackest door. one here, yeah, go ahead and get <laughs> Mr. C. Get Funkmaster Flex and get a hold of the Power 105 Breakfast Crew. I'm on it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Because right now, it's at a certain level. I could see this escalating, Howard. Hopefully. And spreading. Yeah. That, that, and we don't want that. Hopefully that'll happen here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be under the... You'll be under the impression I'm trying to work out an arrangement. <laughs> but you'll actually be stoking the fire. That's right. King of all blacks, you're on the air. You seem to know something. Yes. Uh, Funk Master Flex is about the phoniest motherfucker you ever going. He went to college, graduate school. He does not talk like that in real life, believe me. What do you think about the uh, guys on Power 105 Breakfast Club? Do they put they on... They don't sound all that real to me either. They're not real. Uh, the only real one, actually, i tell you the truth, be honest with you, is Charlemagne. He kind of he kind of really kind of funny. He used to be Wendy Williams' sidekick uh -huh. on her radio show. So he he's about the realest. But that that other those other two that Asian chick and that that other DJ they, they are all phony. 
You think hey. this? You think this war could spread to the Spanish station? <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll get involved? If you want to see the mug shots of the girl he had uh, uh, that was in the car with him, it looks like a guy, and they're in uh, DoubleXL.com. You see a mug shot. Who, oh, Mr. They C's? Mr. C's tranny? Yeah, Mr. C's mug shots. According to Funk Master Flex, it's a lie. No, they got the mug shots. They, they got arrested. They, they, come on. Man. Hey, come, there was no trial. How come black people never believe the police unless it's Mr. C with a chick? I mean, with a dude. Oh, and Mr. Oh, the well, sudden. not all the blacks. Flex doesn't think it's true. Yeah, Funk, Funk Master Flex says it's not true. <laughs> Power 105 Breakfast Club says it is true. Uh, all right. I was, out, I was hanging out with straight up, like, you know, I don't hang out with them, but I was hanging out with straight up criminals one night. And they were, and when Flex was talking like that, they was like, yo, they couldn't believe he was talking like that. He was like, listen to him like he's tough. Well, he's, like, he's trying to relate to he's his acting. audience. He's acting. Yeah. He's like um, Al Pacino in Scarface. Yeah. All right, Andy, go ahead. You're on the air. What's up, Howard? How you doing, brother? Hey. Yeah, I gotta tell you one thing. Lisa G is definitely bringing the show to a halt. And if you tell me she was there with a black guy over there, I can't believe it, Howard. I really can't. You think she fucked a black guy? Oh, come on, absolutely. And Howard, I don't know if you need to find the tapes. You can ever hear that Lisa and Lisa Ed and Dre in the morning show? Yeah. Play those tapes. Well, we played. We the, did that. Know, what was that thing they used to do? Shout outs. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to them. I was forced to listen to that for 12 months <laughs> when I was away, and it drove me nuts. Who for, were you a prisoner of war, and they forced you to listen to that as a form of torture? Uh, well, I was kind of the only white guy in the room, and I had no choice. I, I see. Was away for a while, but uh. So you funny. were in prison. <laughs> where? Oh, you were in prison. Is that where you were? Uh, I, no, something like that, kind of. It was just I was away for a while. Like, where do you go trap with black people listening to black radio? And, and can't choose to not. Where is that? <laughs> uh, it, it's, a, it's a place I had to go to. But uh, What do you mean you had to go to? You got my curiosity. What type of place did you have to go to? Uh, a, a program for uh, fucked up people. What, what's the program? I had to go for a while. Drugs and alcohol. Stuff like that. So, oh, so some kind of rehab? Yeah, kind of like that. It was, <laughs> kind of. Uh, it was a program on uh, Long Island. So I was forced to listen to at least. So you were court ordered to go into the program? Uh, kind of like that, yeah. An alternative uh, to jail, or something like that. Yes, I was. I what, see. You did something wrong, huh? Uh, yeah, I fucked up. I grew up on Long Island, Howard. Come on, you know how. What'd you do? Uh, crack cocaine. You did crack cocaine. They caught you with it. Uh, yeah, but I was kind of, I, I kind of like had a choice to do something to straighten it out or just go away. So yeah, I be, to, you know what, you're being like Funk Master Flex, you're yeah, being very, very 90s. Coy. You're is being this? very vague. Well, I'm kind of on the air. It's a little kind no, of... No, I know, but well, let me just say, listen, Andy, no one knows who you are. Let me understand something. <laughs> okay. You what mean did, that, Andy? What did you do, <laughs> what did you do so bad that they had to send you to a court-ordered rehab? Uh, I was, I was robbing, uh, I was robbing people. Oh, okay. Ah. All right, so you were a bad dude. You were you were so high on crack, you needed crack so bad you would rob people. Yeah. Did you did you mug them or did you rob their homes? Uh, I kind of mugged them. Wow, you're a tough guy, huh? Uh, me and Dewey had to do it high, you know. What I'm hey, what'd you do, little old ladies? Was that your thing? Uh, mostly dealers. Mostly deal. Oh, hmm. you were, you were mugging dealers. You're like the yeah. serial killer who only kills serial killers. <laughs> you text them. <laughs> <He's a laughs> so you're a good uh, mugger because you only mug dealers. Right. See, that's what I'm saying. Take it from the bad to, to give myself a good. Start. Hey, Andy, you must be a big, powerful guy. Yeah, mugging dealers. Because a dealer is usually, you know, some guy who can handle himself, right? I mean, you could fuck a guy up. No, you know what it is. When you want it that bad, you do whatever you got to do. You know what I mean? What'd yeah. you use a gun? Uh, no, I, you know, Mom, I'm telling you too much, bro. But Andy, how do you, how do you overpower the guy? Uh, yeah. bow and arrow? I mean, what'd you use? <laughs> Tom, uh, you, have, you have people with you, you, you do what you gotta do, you set up stuff, and then you just, you know. You, you got a crew. Them, you, you, yeah, exactly. Or you drag them down the street, or you, you know, you drag them with your car, or you try to run them over, stuff like that. Wow. wow. You are badass. Dude, I'd never fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you living a straight life now? Uh, yeah, actually I do. I still live on Long Island, uh, clean, uh, 17 years now. Do you ever get the urge to rob someone? No. 
I still think about crime, you know what I mean? I still think about doing stupid shit, but you got to realize, you know, i got a wife and family now, so... You have a I wife and family to... and, a, and a respectable job? <laughs> yeah, I do. I drive a truck. How do you get... Oh, you drive a truck. Okay, I was going to say, how do you get a respectable job? <laughs> Unless, uh, you know, with that kind of track record, you know? I, I mean, I'd be hesitant to hire this man, but uh, okay, you, you're on the straight now, I admire that. You'd be hesitant to hire me, you see the crew you got over there? Are you serious? It's true, compared to the, them, you're a prize. Listen, I would never ask 